Hello everyone, and welcome to Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland with me. Not Nightmare in Dreamland. Amazing Mirror. I I I practiced that forever. Anyway, I got fed up with uh with Etrian Odyssey because it's really hard. So this is my new side LP, guys. Ooh, Amazing Mirror. I've been wanting to do Amazing Mirror for a while. Let's just take this and erase it. Bomb. Yay! Okay, file one. Start game. One player. Alright, let's see. There should be a story here. Oh, dang it! I skipped the score. So anyway, the story is, there's an amazing mirror, and Meta Knight, sh Meta Knight question mark showed up and cut Kirby into four pieces, which is what you see here. Anyway, I'll get started. Uh, let me just remember the controls. Okay. I have Game Boy set up weird. Boom. Anyway, so Amazing Mirror is actually one of my favorite Kirby games, aside from Dreamland 3. Uh, oh, right. The DS is going to be hard to render what doors I've gone through and what doors I haven't. But anyway, for... for this, is, this game is really puzzly. So I need one of, the, one of those guys to step on that switch there. This game is very puzzly for a Kirby game, and I really like it. It's also which is unheard of for a Kirby game, it's open world. You can go anywhere, you can do anything, as long as you beat uh, the bosses and and the final boss, then you're good. So what I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna 100% this game. I could, I probably have, but anyway, I'm not gonna, but okay. So I can go back through the doors. Doors will show that little halo there. Also, unlike Nightmare in Dreamland, you've got these little moves that you can use. Like, it's sort of like Superstar Saga, but Superstar Saga apparently did not Superstar Stop. Super Kirby Superstar Ultra. But it, it, uh, Ultra did it a little bit better. Also has Mirror Kirby, which is awesome. Bloop. Okay, hang on. And this goes back to the hub world. Using L and R. Call for help with R. Hold L to start over. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. L takes you back to this world. All right, so here we see Meta Knight and... Meta Knight? What's going on here? And also, Kirby is apparently Spanish. No, no, Meta Knight's apparently Spanish. I've been watching Kirby right back at you for a while. It's so dumb. It's the dumbest thing ever, but it's so fun. All right, uh, anyway, so as you can see, the only door we can go into is this one here. So I guess we'll go into it. It's actually a mirror. The doors are mirrors, because this is amazing mirror. Hi-ya. 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 Do 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 Yeah, I, I, I really love this game is like Okay, alongside uh after after I beat Nightmare in Dreamland, this is the game that I had. It was actually technically my sister's, but I used to I I, I borrowed it from her and I would just hang on to it because I didn't want to give it back. Because I just love this game so much. I like how they display health, I like how like I like how it's open world. I like everything about it. It's probably my favorite Kirby game. Aside from Dreamland 3. Dreamland 3 I like for different reasons. And mostly because, you know, it's it's very 100% uh, rule. It feels kind of like a Zelda game, honestly. An older Zelda game, obviously. But uh, Okay, so we can go up or we can go down. Hang on, let me just... That's start. Select. Okay, select is backspace. Right. Up. And as you know, like, I, pretend to, I, I prefer to be a little bit more parkour-y when it comes to Zelda games. Which, this game lends itself to really well. I mean, for, for a bunch of other Kirby games, it does, it does work like that. Hiya! Like, I don't like to use the float ability if I don't have to. And a lot of times, you don't have to in this game. Hiya! Ow. But yeah, this game is really fun because you get to take advantage of a bunch of different like copy abilities to use for puzzles and stuff. It's really nice. Ow! Ah! There we go. So Missile Kirby is actually not my favorite, but it's pretty cool. Hi! Yeah. So that was just Shadow Kirby we just defeated. We don't know what's up with him. He's like some evil version of Kirby, I guess. 
I knew he was there, so I I I, I came prepared. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. And this guy's gonna wake up, and we're gonna shoot him in the face. I guess I thought I was gonna do a little bit of damage to him, and then I could suck him up. Okay, never mind. This isn't Pokemon. So yeah, most of the most of the stuff you can get is found from like treasure chests like that. All right, we can't get over there quite yet. And I also ditched Missile Kirby, and we're not supposed to go that way just yet. Do do Ow! I hate those guys. Huh? I'll take Cutter. I like Cutter Kirby. At some point, I intend to put a clip from. Let me just ditch this, because this guy gives us, I think, Ice Kirby. Freeze no longer exists, it's just ice. So, yeah. Ow! So, there's also bigger stuff that you can suck up, but it takes a longer time. Alright, yeah, so we'll just suck him up and we'll become Ice Kirby! Hey ah! Oh my god, that was so close. That is the problem with parkouring in Kirby. You don't need to do it, and you're often a dummy if you do. Alright, so I'm gonna ditch Ice Kirby, because I don't love it that much. And just to just for the sake of getting the door gone. So I don't actually know what I'm doing with this game. Uh let's see. Bomb or fighter. Let's go with fighter. So this button will actually link us back to the hub world. Uh and there will be a bunch of doors we can get. See now there's a door back to the hub world. We've seen this door before. And now there's a door to. Oh, Moonlight Mansion. Okay, so the the down in the bottom right there. That's where it says what we're up to. And yeah, so it's been a while. It, it has been a while. I don't remember everything about this game. So this is kind of blind. So yeah, as you can see, some doors don't have that halo thing. I wish I could fix that. Maybe I could do that with some of uh, the drawing. Oh, I messed it up. Alright, that's okay. I'll come back there later. Eh! Okay. That battery uh, restores our cell phone. I'm probably not going to use the cell phone too much. Let's see. Sword. Oh, I wanted fighter for this. No, I didn't. I probably wanted burning for that or something. Hop. Ah, uh, yeah. So this LP is going to be different. It's going to be a lot less, uh, a little bit less effort. Than you know, your your what I put in your average LP because again, it is a side LP. Uh, but to me, this is a fairly easy game, and which is what I want out of a side LP. I want to put all my effort into the main LP, and maybe a little bit of effort into the side LP, like finding treasure chests and stuff. It's gonna be a little bit hard. Okay, so that links us back to what? Where are we? Huh? Oh right, it gives us another door. That's the only door that works like that, I think. Oh, we're already here. Okay, uh... Uh, this is gonna be tough. Because I don't have... Like, okay. Well, we're about to fight the first boss here. Which is really simple, really easy, really, really, really easy first boss. Uh, let me stick with sword, actually, because it isn't here. So yeah, he's basically Wispy Woods. And the boss music is so cool in this game. Give me that back. There you go. So th see, he's defeated. He gives us a mirror shard. So as you can see, there are eight bosses in the game. Uh, one each with a mirror shard. So we need to find all eight mirror shards and restore them to the place so we can get in there and, I guess, save Meta Knight or whatever. So yeah, that's the story of this game, basically. We gotta go around and find these bosses. Uh, and so this game is actually really 
fun and really interesting, and I don't remember a lot of it, but we're gonna go along and we're gonna get a bunch of different things. I'm not gonna stay pink forever, actually. One of the few Kirby games where you can do that. So this gives us a map, right? What's map? And, hang on, B, oh, hang on, select, map. All right, so because it's open world, they give you a map, which is really helpful, and I really like that. Do, 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 do. We're gonna go the other way. Yeah, this is the way where we need to work with. So these things, these platforms, weren't in Nightmare Dreamland. What they are is you have this rope, and you can use cutter or sword to snap them. I believe in Superstar Ultra, you can also use. Uh, uh, what is it? You can pr also use. Not mirror ninja. You can also use ninja Kirby. So this, another thing I like about this, uh, I don't know, I don't know what else I like about this, but like, while you have partners and while you can play with partners, you don't need to play with partners. Like, it's not like some of the older Kirby games where you press a button and then your partner gets summoned, and then they can be really annoying. Which, you know, Superstar Ultra did do that a little bit, uh, but... Don't mess with me. I'm a Kirby. Hot up. Hop. Okay. So yeah. Uh, well, well, Kirby Star, Kirby, Kirby Star Ultra. Oh, dang it. Ba da ba. So while Kirby Superstar Ultra did do that a little bit. Did do that a little bit um, with it with the annoying partner. The it's not actually a thing in in you know in this game. You do have four partners, so you can play up to four people co-op, which is really nice. But you they don't have to follow you everywhere, and it's not like brawl co-op or anything. So this is probably just going to be the first video here. I'm going to be using save states to save my progress because yeah. I don't want to, you know, when you restart the game, you're sent back to the beginning. And so, like, I won't always be using that unless, you know, uh, uh, you're, sent, you're sent back to the hub world. Crap. I am hurting. Because I'm dumb. Uh, uh, we're about, uh, what? Almost 13 minutes. Ah! Okay, that's okay, that's okay. While we still have lives, we'll start back at the door, last door. We'll start back at the last door that we entered through. And, uh, yeah. So, while we don't have lives, then we'll, when we don't have lives, then we end up restarting, uh, in the hub world. Which is okay. Oh, that's, uh, now we're in a different world, aren't we? That's Rainbow Root. Okay, yeah, and this is Mustard Mountain. If we can find a door in this in this episode, another door in this episode. Actually, I don't really need to worry about what we do in this episode because this episode is mostly about crap, 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 crap. Because crap. this episode is mostly about introducing this LP, which is let's stop that. All right, there's a door over there. Oh crap! Ah. And so yeah, we can we can cook up enemies. We cook this cookery. He just cooks them up and spits them out as food, just like the show. Hop. Whoa! What just happened? Magic! What the heck? Ah! Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, good enough. Ah! Ah! Alright, after this fight, then I'll be calling it an episode. Ow! Stop it! Dang it, fan fan! Stupid. 
Ha ya. All right, so actually, ah, oh crap, I, I mucked it up. But that's just a one-up anyway. Ooh, this place, I never, I never was able to get too far in the place, but I don't think there's a door in here. Ow! So sometimes there are actually doors indoors, and that can actually be really cool, because if you get a door in a door, and, and don't find the first door, then you get a two-way, two levels back to the, back to the entrance. Not, not, like, uh, what I mean is, uh, uh, entry doors. Oh, right, crap, that thing. Ah, oh, there's no way I was going to make it through that. Okay, so... Uh, next episode, I'll see you back here. Uh, bye, guys!